about stuff students in one East Texas school are getting a head start about learning college life. Oh yeah, Kane Elementary in White House is implementing what's being called the No Excuses University <laughs> model. KETK's Kara Pritchard joins us live at the school with more on this program. That's right, I'm here at Kane Elementary. The classrooms and hallways are filled with pennants, mascots, and flags from universities across the country. Now this is just one way this school excites their students for the college life. Students in Miss Fowler's fifth grade classroom will tell you they're ready for the college life. I really want to go to LSU because it seems really cool and it's awesome probably and I love purple and gold together. Even the little ones around here, if you say college band, they'll say no excuses because they know that there's no excuse for anybody to leave this campus after fifth grade not being ready for college. That's because Kane Elementary is practicing the no excuses university model. We believe that every student should leave Kane Elementary with good character, be on or above grade level in reading, writing, and math. The fun part is that every day is full of college Spirit. Each teacher adopts a different university for their classroom. The college provides teachers with all the right gear so the students know who their mascot is. Third grade teacher Ashley Kurtz adopted UT Tyler, so she invites athletes to join in on her lessons. Students got to really interact with college students to see where someday soon they will be. It's just so important to learn those behaviors now, practice them all the way through middle school and high school. So when they're old enough to make a decision, they make an educated decision and they know college is possible for everyone. Citizens National Bank has also jumped on board. They're donating funds to the school to be used for this new program. Now, for more information, visit our website, myeasttext.com. Reporting live at White House, Kara Pritchard, KETK News. All right, tonight on the Point of View segment,